All right, everybody, welcome to class. Uh, this morning is a reading class. We'll be uh, continuing on with case number five. And <clears throat> let's see. Sorry, I've got a whole bunch of different. There we go. All right, yes, yeah, so we're going to be continuing on with, with case number five uh, and practicing our pronunciations at, uh, at the same time. If you do not have the, the link, go ahead and, and uh, grab it from the Verbling chat. Okay. I also have it in the Google chat. So if, uh, if you come in, you want to hang out there, that's cool as well. All right. So yes, we've been, uh, we've been reading a, uh, reading some short stories about, uh, Rebella Howard. Okay. JP Bullet. Okay. And, uh, and just some criminals that they've been, uh, hunting down. And, uh, so yeah, we've, we're practicing our reading, practicing, uh, 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 pronouncing uh, pronouncing words. Sometimes they're words we haven't seen before, which is always great because we challenge we challenge ourselves a little bit. And uh, you and as always, whenever I do uh, I do reading, um, we we uh, uh, have we read and we work on work on words and uh, and are hopefully improving uh, each time we're coming back and uh, and reading. That's uh, that's obviously the goal. Um, if you are new to Verbling and you're wondering what's going on, um, the first uh, first couple minutes of every class, the, there is uh, there is time that's uh, specifically dedicated or set aside for those who have premium accounts, so that they can they can join classes, um, and for those who have reservations. Uh, there's there's multiple ways of getting reservations here with with Verbling and uh, one of them is like inviting people through Facebook uh, you can also um, you can also I think like watch a video or something like that uh, they, they may have changed uh, changed the rules on that a little bit but uh, there's information I'm sure all over the place uh, to for, for that, that'll give you uh, um, ideas of how to get uh, reservations and whatnot okay uh, so let's see who we have in uh, first off we have Robert. How you doing, Robert? Hi, Chad. I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. What's uh, what's new? Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. Excellent. And uh, Robert, um, I I don't uh, I, I had a uh, a Robert that was new yesterday, but I don't uh, recognize this last name. Is this your first time in my class? No, it's my second time. Maybe it wasn't yesterday, but a few days ago. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. So, uh, remind me, Robert, where are you from? From Hungary. From Hungary. Okay. Awesome. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you. All right. And uh, uh, Marcy, Marcia, Marcia. Sorry. Here we go. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm great, thank you. Excellent. Oh, there's sunshine today. I'm even very I... well today. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes, it's uh, not very typical there in Wales. Yeah. Excellent. That... So how how have you been? It's been it's been a while since I've seen you. Yes, I couldn't see Easter the, the the few last uh -huh. days, but I'm back. I'm there we back go. In <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome back to class. It's good to have you here. And how about Nukmal? How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks. Excellent. Anything new going on? Nothing much. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, it looks like uh, it looks like it's just going to be us uh, us three right now. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the the story. I put the uh, the link over in the chat box. Okay, and <clears throat> when you open it up, this is what you are going to see. Oops, I want to go right here. Looks like we got uh, someone else. Hi, Heba. Heba, how are you? 
All right, so uh, when you open up that page, this is what you're going to see. Okay, uh, it's uh, with Story Star, and this is case number five. We're going to be starting right at the very tip top. <laughs> All right, and uh, I'll start off with uh, Marcia. And Marcia, let me have you read the first two paragraphs, please. Okay. Um, case five, the transport. Inspector G.P. Bullet come from, came into the detective's office. He had a disgusted look in his face. I just had a meeting with Captain Graves. They are transferring um, Brandon Bobble to the Federal Correction Institute in Coleman, Florida. Uh, because of the nature of the case and other security issues, the captain wants me to ta and Tina, uh, Tina to transport him to Florida. Harvey, you are going to be in charge until we get back said GP. Flying is not bad and you will be back tomorrow, said Harvey. We are not going to be flying. We are going to be driving down there. Um, they want to keep it a top secret, said JP. One of uh, Alistair Crane's henchmen was in the one Sixty nine, one hundred sixty nine precinct dis disguised as a janitor. Oh, he overheard JP talking after he had heard the details of the transport. He went to the restroom and changed the clothes. Uh, he left the precinct. I called Alistair and gave him all the details. All right, very good job. Uh, let's practice some of these words, okay? okay? First off, we have the word called. Okay, remember, we go straight to that D sound. Called. called. Try that. Called. Good, good. Called. And, and precinct, you are very close with the pronunciation here. The, the accent goes at the very beginning of the word, right here on, on pre. Precinct. Pre Try that. Precinct. Precinct. Good. Nice job. Good T sound at the very end as well. And then uh, also great job with the number 169th. All right, that sounded difficult. really good. Yeah, uh -huh. very difficult, but you said it. You said it very well. Also, great job with disguised. Okay, that sounded good. Now I do want to practice the word face. Okay, here you had said face. And uh, pronounce that E at the very end, okay? The word is face. Try that. Face. Face. Okay, great. So let's, uh, let's try this sentence one more time. We're going to say, he had a disgusted look on his face. He had a disgusted look in his face. Okay, good. Nice job. All right, and let's see. Everything else sounded, uh, sounded very good. Oh, a little Very bit. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, time. your your uh, your okay. ed endings, your ed endings are doing much better. Okay, we only had uh, really one that we need to like, go go over. Called. Okay. But yeah, um, everything sounded good. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice job. All right, let's go to um, uh, Nukmal. Nukmal, let's go to your your paragraph here, and it. Uh, it's one that starts off with Marcus, okay? Okay. Marcus, Lemon, and Hoodie were walking on the street. They recognized Harvey's El Camino. They took off running. Why do they always want to run when they see my car? Wondered Harvey. Inspector Rabella Howard and Antonio Perez were riding with Harvey. Marcus and Hoodie ran into an alley. Harvey let Antonio out to chase them. He drove around to the other end of the alley. Marcus and Hoodie started climbing up at the fire 
up the fire escape to get away from Antonio, who was running as fast as he could. Marcus and Hoodie climbed in and opened a window, and Antonio followed them. Harvey and Rob Rebella was saw Antonio climbing up the fire escape and going into the building. Does the fire escape go all the way up to the roof? asked Rabella. I think so, said Harvey. Rabella took off her jacket off and handed it to Harvey. She started climbing up the fire escape. The fire escape. She climbed to the roof of the building and waited. Marcus and Hoodie were running up to the stairs that went to the building. Antonio was getting exhausted from chasing the suspect and was falling further and further behind. Marcus and Hoodie opened the door that went to the roof and went onto the roof of the building where Rabella was waiting. Why the hurry, boys? asked Rabella. Marcus and Hoodie looked at each other trying to figure out how Rabella got to the roof first. Antonio finally made it to the roof. Hoodie and Marcus were arrested and taken down to the prison. Good, good. Nice reading here. Okay, you had a really good flow when you were reading and, it, and you felt very comfortable. Um, or you sounded very comfortable. Um, now, one thing I wanted to point out, okay, the first time when you read the word climbing, you pronounced that B. But the good part is that after that, I think you realized that and you started pronouncing the word correctly, saying climbing. Okay, remember that B is silent. Okay, good job there. Um, I do want to practice the TH sound with you. Okay, now let's practice the word think. 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 Try that. Think. Okay, good. Okay, and so we're going to, let's practice that, uh, that sentence that's right there. Uh, it says, I think so. I think so. Good, good, much better. See. All right, let's uh, let's practice um, running up the stairs. We're going to practice that th in the running up the stairs. Running up the stairs. Good, good. One more time. Running up the stairs. Running up the stairs. All right, okay. much oh, better. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's uh, let's practice the word other. Other. Okay. Other. Remember. There you go. That's it. Okay. So we're going to say, looked at each other, trying to Chanda. figure out. Figure out. Look, look at each other, trying to figure out. Okay. Remember, we want to use that TH sound. Looked at each other. Each, each other. There you go. All right. Yeah, that's a it's a it's a difficult sound to sound to make, but you definitely can do it. Okay. Uh, everything else Thanks. sounded really good. Your ed endings were were wonderful. Okay. And yeah, just focus a little bit on that on those th sounds. You may need to slow down a little bit once you get to those words, but you'll def you definitely are able to pronounce those. Okay. Good job, man. Thanks. All right. Uh, uh, Vincenzo, can I have you uh, mute your microphone? So if your uh, dog barks, yeah. we do not hear him again. All right, thank you. Uh, let's, all right, let's go yeah. to uh, now. Is is your name Pet uh, Petrolena? Petrolina? No. Uh, my name is Vincenzo. Uh, yes, yes, very good. Uh, next up is uh, Petrolina. <laughs> Hello, right, Petrolina. No, eh? Petrolina, make sure that your microphone head, head. is not is not muted. Okay, um, Vincenzo, I, I'm 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 trying to speak here with uh, Petrolina. Okay. All right, let's go okay. to uh, Robert. Yes, I'm here. Okay, awesome. All right, Robert, let's uh, let's uh, find a paragraph for you. Uh, one paragraph. Okay. Uh, give me one second. Oh, so let's let's do. Let's do the next two para paragraphs, okay? Okay. The Go ahead and read those. The suspect, uh, suspects were processed and put into the interrogation room. Harvey entered the interrogation room. He pulled up a chair. Do you want to tell me why you ran? Asked Harvey. Man, we did not know if you were real or not, said Marcus. What in Sam Hill uh, are you talking about? Asked Harvey. Man, Alistair uh, has these henchmen all over town in disguise. 
He already knows that the big boss is uh, being transported to Coleman. Son of a gun, Harvey exclaimed. Harvey left the interrogation room and went straight to the captain's office. We have a major problem, said Harvey. What's the problem? asked Captain Graves. Alistair found out that Brandon was being transported to Coleman, said Harvey. The captain was not happy and he hit his desk with his fist. I, wa uh, I want Antonio and Rebella to try to catch up with JP and warn, warn him. I want, to, uh, I want you to find out how this uh, security uh, branch happened, said Captain Graves. All right. Very good reading. Nice job. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Um, there's, a, there's only two things I, I really want to practice. Uh, first okay. off, uh, this word here is breach with a long E sound. Breach. Okay, good. One more time. Breach. 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 Good. Okay, so this word here. Now, your ED ending was perfect. Your R sounds were perfect, so transported. Okay. Now, a trick or one thing that, uh, that we do in American English is we change that T to a D. Okay, especially if the word, for example, the root word is transport. Okay, and if we add an ED ending to the end of that word, we can change the, the pronunciation of that T to a D. So instead of saying transported and, and pronouncing a T there, we would say transported. Okay, you see how that changes to a D? Transported. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Transported. And that's it. That's the exact way that we would say that. Okay. Other than that, your your uh, your pronunciations were great. You did a really Thank good you. job, Robert. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, let's go to Vincenzo. Yes. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, Vincenzo, let me have you read. Can the I next go on? Two, uh, yes. Read the next two paragraphs, please. Okay. Uh, second thing, James. Look, Jane P was driving down the road. He kept not seeing a vehicle, vehicle following him. Following him. What's wrong? Asked Tina. This car has been following us for a while, said, said JP. He took a service road and the vehicle continued to follow. Driving down the road, JP saw a train stop on the, on the siding. JP went to the nearest crossing. The crossing arms were already down and the train blowing to warn motorists. motorists. Mm. JP drove around the crossing arm. By the name the car following got to the crossing, the train was already blocking the crossing. JP went to where, went to where the stop train was. We are going to take a train ride, said JP. They got on the train in a boxcar. When the northbound train cleared the switch, the southbound train started rolling. The henchmen following JP, Tina and Brenda watched the, car, the cars on the southbound train. The train went by and the henchmen did not see the, them. The henchmen came upon the car that they were in. All right, excellent job. Very good, Vincenzo. All right, your R sounds are really, really good. Okay, box no. car. What's do that? You have to say, do you have to say what, uh, where I make mistakes? Mistake. I, I, <laughs> My I mistake will. in pronunciation. I, I understand that. I will definitely get get to there. I'm just telling you that your R sounds are sounding really good. Okay, except on. All right, if you do it, hold on, I'll get there. Okay, except on the word train. Here you're saying train. Okay, and you're using a hard R sound. So yes, you want to use tr train. Okay, try that. The T English T T T T T we. With the, with the tongue under the teeth. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Your tongue is your tongue is not going to touch the teeth. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Tongue okay. back, and you say "tr train." Tr train. It's very difficult. Okay. 
with the, with, the, with this word, with this word, we're not going to pronounce a a, a t like this. T -t -t, okay, we're not going to say tur. Okay, we say tur. Tur, 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 like tr. Uh, like it's like a c tur. Like, uh, like uh, yes, it's almost tr. like a ch. It's almost like a ch, and we say tur. Tur, 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 There you go. Tr. That's it. That's uh, it. Train. Train. Okay. 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 So uh, whenever whenever uh, you have a word that starts with a T or, or yeah. it has a T R in it, when you pronounce that T R, that's a chur sound. Okay. True. And uh, and everything is sound really good. Mm -hmm. Only at, at the beginning. Only at the beginning. It, it, is this for only at the beginning when the T is at the beginning or when I try when I when I find T in the middle of a word. It's the same in the middle of a word. If you have a T R that's uh, that are together, it'll make a tur sound. It's always the same T. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So for so okay. for example, for example, if we have the word constructed, constructed or construction. Uh, for okay. example, kept, kept, kept. Can I say kept, kept? Kept, kept does not have an R in it. Kept is spelled with a T kept. at the end. Kept. Okay, I'm talking about is a this, T is, and an R together. Okay, that T and the R sound like construction, construction. Okay, that's that tr sound. All right. All right. There's a. There's he, another. He, 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 okay. He, he uh, kept. He he kept. He kept. How do you pronounce it? Kept. He he kept. Just like that. You're pronouncing the word perfectly. Okay. Now your R sound in the word Brandon. Okay, um, right here, give me one second. Let me get back to the word. Yeah, okay. All right, so um, this word right here, I'm going to highlight that word is brr, Brandon. 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 Good, good, yes. Yeah, uh, when you yes, read the word, but you I rolled don't, your R. Yeah. Excuse me, but I don't understand. I had, now I see this word, noticing. Is it possible to pronounce it? T in this way, not not it's very difficult. T in English. How do you uh, pronounce it? Noticing, noticing, noticing. Okay, uh, but but the, the 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 difference is you can also change that T to a D sound, saying no dis noticing. Ah, okay. In this case, I have to change the T in in D. And uh -huh. not the exactly. same, not the same. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, very, uh, okay. very good. Uh, okay. Every, everything, okay. Else, everything else sounded really good. You're doing very well. Thank you, Vincenzo. Sorry. Sorry. Thank okay. you, thank you to you. Thank okay, you. very good, thank you. Um, uh, yes, uh, Petrolina, how are you? Okay, uh, Vincenzo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute your microphone so that you can keep practicing, okay? Yes, yes, wait, wait a minute. There we go. All right, Petrolena, how are you? Yes, fine, thank you. Hi. you. Great, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Let's uh, let's go ahead and have you read, okay? Okay. I'd like to, I'd like for you I'd like for you to read this paragraph here. Can you find that? Have you been following along? Uh, not really. I was trying to uh, make my mic work. Okay, the uh, the link the link is in the uh, is in the chat box. No, the link I have uh, it, but I don't know where uh, we um, where uh, uh, Vincenzo is. Right. Go ahead, go ahead and go to the very top. Okay, and you're very gonna top? scroll. Okay, yes. scroll scroll down. Yes. All right, so you're gonna scroll down until you see yes. the words, the henchman yes. called. Oh. Okay. The henchman called Alistair. They got away, said the henchman. Mommy! Just a minute, my baby. I think All you right. should go to another person. I think you should go to another person. My baby is yelling. <laughs> Mommy! Okay? okay. Alright, so let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, Aga. Yes, I'm here. Hi. Okay, Aga. Let me have you uh, read the next couple paragraphs. So starting off with the henchman, and, uh, um, and going down to elder gentleman. Do you see where that's at? 
Yes, I have it. Okay. All right. Uh, the henchman called Alistair. They got away, said the henchman. What do you mean they got away? Asked Alistair angrily. We were following them and they got on either a south southbound or another bound train, said the henchman. You idiot. They are heading south. They are going to be hiding on the south boat train. Now, now go find them, shouted Alistair, slamming the phone down. It's hard to find good, good help those day, these days. Smiley, we are taking a road tri trip, said Alistair. Antonio and Roberta found the car that JP, Tina and Brandon were in, but no sign of them. Antonio called Harvey. Harv, we located the car they were in, but no sign of them, said, um, said Antonio. Antonio and Rebella were looking around the car for clues. An elderly gentleman walked up to them. Are you looking for the people in that car? Asked the elderly gentleman. Antonio took out his badge to and identified himself. I am Inspector Antonio Perez, and that is Inspector Howard. We are looking for the occupants in the car, said, said Antonio. Well, you are the second one interested in trying to locate the people in that car. They got on the train that goes to Manassas, said the el elder gentleman. All right, very good. N very good reading. Um, let's, uh, let's go to um, this word right here. Now, your ED ending was great at the end. The accent in the word was a little off. Okay, so instead of saying interested, okay, it would be interested with the accent at the very beginning. Please repeat that. Interested. Good, nice job. Okay. okay. Um, from here, let's go to the word north. Northbound. Northbound. Okay, give me a good TH sound. North. Northbound. Northbound. There you go. Good. All right. Now, this, this word here, um, uh, I know in most cases when you have an E and an A together, that makes a long E sound. Okay, uh, yeah. but instead of saying heating, the word has a short e sound. The word is he, heading. Heading. Good. One more time. Heading. Heading. Good. Okay. okay. Um, and here, um, we're going that a in the middle. Instead of pronouncing it small, smell, smelly. Okay, it's small, smally. Smally. Good. Okay. One more time. Smally. Smally. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah. Other than that, your your eds uh, were sounding great. Your uh, your r sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really good. Excellent. Excellent reading. Nice job. Thank you. All right. Let's go to my next reader. Uh, let's see, Eric Erickson. How are you? Eric, uh, make sure that your microphone is not muted. Awesome. Eric, can you hear me? All right, let's go to Marcia. Marcia, let me Where was you... my computer teacher? Sorry. Oh, there you are. How you doing? How you doing, Eric? No, I have problem with my computer. Let me say, okay. No, I, I have problem with my computer teacher. Sorry. Okay, so, uh, Eric, let me, uh, let me have you read. Um, uh, these first two paragraphs and probably about half of this uh, third one, okay? All right, let's uh, let's go to Marcia. Marcia, I am, let me I am ready. You. I am ready, teacher. Yeah, you are, you are ready. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, let me let me have you read those uh, those marked portions, okay? So from Antonio okay. down to about half of this uh, third paragraph, okay? Okay. Be begin, teacher? Uh, yes, yes, please. Okay. okay. Antonio went by Revald's house so she could get a chance of clothes. I will be back, back in about 15 minutes to pick you up, said Antonio. He went to his house and got a changin of clothes and went when back back to Rebella's house. She has changed her clothes 
and had a backpack. G JP and Tina stood by the bus car door and watched, watched the scenery. Brandon is blurring teacher the, the screen. Okay, um, you'll need, you'll need okay, to open, no, it's good, it's open good, the link. It's good now. It's good now. Now, uh, now it's good. Uh, by the boat car door and watch, watch the scenery. Brandon was sitting up against the wall and handcuffed. When the train stopped in Manasha, Tina and Brandon got off. They were walking along a railroad track in the train yard stopped. He motioned for the other to hide behind a train car. What's wrong? asked Tina. GP pointed toward the henchman that had just pulled out and was getting out the car. The henchman the henchman walked walked across the track track and started checking trying car stay here stay here say GP he came out from behind the train car and climbed onto one of the train cars that that the the henchman had already checked okay all right, very good. Let's uh, let's practice some words together, okay? Okay. All right. Uh, first off, I want to practice the uh, the R sound at the beginning of a word. Okay. So, for example, we have the name. Okay, the name is Rabella. R Rabella. Try that, please. R Rabella. Okay. R R Rabella. R Rabella. Rabella. Okay, all right, okay. getting much better. All right, um, now this word here is change. Change. Shane. Shane. Okay, so with the CH sound, when we pronounce the CH sound, it's a little bit different, okay, than the SH sound. Okay, here you're saying shh. And you're pushing the air over, and it's and it's flowing through. But when we pronounce that S or sorry, the C H, it's a punch of air. Okay, we say ch change. There, change. that's it. That's it. Change. change. Oh, thank you. Okay, C H. It's C H. C H. Cha cha cha. Change. Okay, change. Yeah, okay, one thank more time. You, change. 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 Okay. Now the end the end of that word has a G sound. Okay. That sounds like a J. Okay, we say J. 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 Change. J. Change. 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 Okay. Change. Well here at the end of the word you're adding an A. Okay? All change. we say is change. 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 Okay. Change. There you go. That's it. That's closer. Change. Okay, one more time. Change. 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 Okay. So, change. So, like so an A example, at the end. Uh, it's, it's not an A at the end. Okay, it's not an A. All right. So, uh, oh. one question. Now, Eric, uh, what uh, what country are you from? Are, are you from uh, Dominican, oh. from what I remember? Yes. Yes, okay. Totones. All right, so um, um, when you pronounce your Y, okay, uh, and you say yo me llamo, okay, do you, how do you pronounce your Y? Do you say yo me llamo or do you say yo me llamo? Eh, de, si yo me llamo, si es correcto. Yo, yo me, me llamo. Okay, so it's a little different. Some, some, uh, some people who speak Spanish, they pronounce their Y with a little bit of a J sound on it. And so mm. I was going to have you compare those two, but uh, that's not how you pronounce your, your Ys. So at the end of that word, instead no, of thinking no, I, of an I, A. I, I, I pronounce different because I heard when you pronounce W, you need mm -hmm. to. I try to, when I, I see the W, I try to make the. That moving on my on my lips. Okay. And All right. Wash. Wash. I tried yes, to, to do that. 
Yeah, that's a, that's good, but I'm I'm talking about the the G sound. Ah, okay, G at the sound end thing. of the end of the word change. Okay, and it sounds more like a J, like if you were to say job. Ah, J. J. Okay. Okay, so we want to say change. Change. Jo. Change. Jo. 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 Change. Jo. Change. All right. So uh, we don't want to say job at the end. It's the J that sounds sounds like the word job, but that's a, that's that G sound at the end. Change. 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 It's more it's close. A, change. You're om, you're almost there. You're pronouncing more of an S H sound. Okay. So okay. um we'll we'll uh, we'll come come back to that. I need to move on to some other readers. Okay. Okay. But, uh, no yes, problem. We'll, Thank we'll you, teacher, for your it, time. Okay? But the uh, your ch sound is much better now. Nice job with the ch. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Let's uh, let's see. Um, uh, Aina, how are Hi. you? Fine. Thanks. Great. Welcome to class. Let me have you. Uh, let me have you read this next paragraph that starts when the train stopped. Uh, I'm sorry. We we read half of that already. So we are down to the henchman saw him. So let me have you read that the last half of that. Paragraph paragraph as well as this next paragraph and um, uh, probably probably a few lines into into this other paragraph here okay so go ahead go ahead and start where it says um, the henchman saw saw him on the train okay you see that okay yes um, mm, no. yes here the henchman saw him on the train car and started towards him. Tina saw the henchman coming towards the car. She drew her service revolver. We are the police and you are under arrest, she shouted. The henchman was distracted and JP tackled him. He took out his handcuffs and handcuffed him to the train car. He took the car keys from the henchman's pocket. JP motioned for the others to come on. They left in the henchman's car and let him, him handcuffed to the train car. Alistair Limousine pulled up. He saw the henchman still handcuffed to the train car. Alistair rolled down the window. They handcuffed me to this train car and took my car, said the henchman. How long ago? asked Alistair. About ten minutes, said the henchman. Alistair rolled the window back up. Open it, Mr. Smalley, shouted Alistair. As Mally did as he was instructed and they left the henchman handcuffed to the train car. It was not long before Antonio and Rebella came along. The railroad police um, was already on scene and having to put up one end of the handcuff. Oh, I have lost. Okay, keep uh, keep reading the next uh, next couple sentences, please. Okay, Antonio and Rivella walk up to the to where the railroad police were. I am Inspector Antonio Perez, and this is Inspector Rivella Howard. Okay, all right, excellent reading here. All right, let's uh, let's uh, take a look at some sounds that we can practice. Okay, now um, uh, there was a, a few times where we had the word railroad here. This last time you said the word very well, um, but here when you talked about the railroad police, you had rolled your R, saying railroad police, police. Okay, so let's uh, let's practice using a good R sound. We want to say R, railroad. Try that. Railroad. Good, good. All right, so let's put it together with this uh, this phrase: railroad police. Railroad police. Excellent. Nice job. Okay. Um, let's practice the ed ending at the at the end of cuff. So we're going to say handcuffed. Handcuffed. Good with the t sound. All right. Now this word here, walk. Okay, if we add an ed there, that that makes a t sound as well. The word is walked. Walked. Okay, one more time. Walked. Walked. Excellent. Okay. Now remember, class, this l in the word walk is silent. Okay, we do not say walk. Okay, we say walked. Okay, good job. Uh, let's see. 
Um, let's see. Um, everything else sounded very good. Um, for the for the most part, your R sounds were were really nice. All right, and uh, your TH sounds as well. Okay, I do want to practice. All right, yeah, let's practice this. I did hear you say the uh, the Spanish Z. You said Pedet. Okay, yeah. let's practice saying a uh, a Z in English. Okay, we say Perez. 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 With a Z sound. Yeah, you can say Perez. Perez. With a Z. There you go. That's the Z. Z. Perez or Perez. Perez. There you go. Nice job. I bet. Uh, I bet that feels uh, that feels a little weird because it is a Spanish word, and you and you so want to say Perez, right? Uh, all right. Very good. Nice. Nice job. Excellent reading. Very good. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, Petrolina is. Uh, are you ready to read? Okay. Not so much. How about Regina? Hi. Can you hear me? No. Uh, okay, Petrolina, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go to uh, Regina. Okay, and then I'll come right, I'll come back to you. Okay, Regina. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, Regina. Let me have you read um, the rest of this uh, the rest of this paragraph, uh, starting at the yard master. Okay, I'd like for you to read the rest of that, and then and then this uh, next little paragraph right here. Okay, so start at the yard master, please. Okay, I start with. Um, sorry. Look me here. They. This part. One moment, okay. Okay. The uh, yard ma master noted some hobos on one of the cars. As it came through, we checked the car that he saw them on, and we did not find anyone. We figured they had already got off, and when we checked this end of the yard, we found this guy, handcuffed to this train car, said Officer Tory. Don't, don't let him go, said Antonio. We are not. He is going to be arrested for tra trespassing on her railroad property," said Officer Tory. "I am ready to talk," said the hitching man, whose wrist and arm was hurting. They took my car, and Alistair is not too far behind. Then," said the hitchman. Who took your car? asked Antonio. JP, the late cop, and Brandon, said the henchman. Though, wherever you want to with him, that's all we needed to know, said Antonio to the officer Tory. Antonio and Rebella got in their car and left him. I'm fixing to call Harf and give him an update, said Antonio, taking out his cell phone. Antonio gave Harvey an update on what was going on. Okay, just till there. Thank you very um, much. Okay. Yes. Uh, did you have a question? No, no questions. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's practice some words. Okay. Okay. Um, first off, I want to look at words that end with an e sound. Okay. So, for example, the word already. Already. Good. Yeah. So uh, sometimes I've noticed uh, for those who speak Portuguese, sometimes it's a yes. little difficult to include that e sound at the end of a word. Yeah. All right. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, let's put that into a sentence. We're going to say they had already got off. They had already got off. Okay. Excellent. Now let's practice the word property. Property. Good. All right, and that's that e sound at the end. Okay, one last word, and this is our uh, one of our main characters. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. instead of saying Harvey, okay, the word Har is Harvey. 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 Yeah, Harvey, just like that. Okay. Excellent. Harvey. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now I want to practice your R sounds at the beginning of a word. Okay. When you said the name Rebella, which is one of our other main character, that sounded great. But railroad, 
railroad here, you had this. This is difficult. <laughs> railroad. Yeah. There you go. Much better. Railroad. Try railroad. that. Railroad. Good. Good. Much better there. All right. N normally. Um, uh huh. Normally, normally in Portuguese we don't use a lot of this uh, this kind of sound, and then Portuguese learners will have some difficulty with this. Exactly. Railroad. Yeah, yeah, that that R at the beginning is is difficult. Okay, let's yeah. try another one here. Uh, this word here is ready. R ready. Ready. Good. One more time. Ready. Ready. Okay. Excellent. All right. So focus on on your R sounds at the beginning of words. Okay. Remember, and it's okay to slow down a little bit when you get to those words. And remember, er, okay. And then also focus on words. Focus on words. Sorry. Sorry, Regina. You had a, a lot of noise that was coming back from your from your uh, um, microphone. I needed to mute you. Okay. But focus on words that end with that e sound as well, and practice pronouncing that e. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go to uh, Petrolena. Okay, can you hear All me? All right. Okay, so okay. let me have you read. Um, uh, JP? Let, me, let me have you read, yeah, from where it says uh, JP, and I'll have you read JP. the next two paragraphs, please. Yes. Uh, JP saw a car rental place as he was driving down the road. He turned onto the service road that went to the car rental business. They rented a car and swapped drivers finally reaching their destination. After Brendan was processed into the federal in institution in Coleman, J.P. and Tina were fixing to start the journey back. They saw Alistair's limousine. We are fixing to take a little detour, detour, maybe, said J.P. They stopped at a Walmart store and bought some clothes and then checked into a hotel. The room had two beds, a big screen TV, and a shower. Man, this place is awesome, said Tina, admiring the way the room looked. All right. Very good. Thank you for, uh, thank you for your reading. Uh, let's... Uh Let's uh, practice uh, some uh, some words here, okay? First mm -hmm. off, this word is processed with the accent at the very beginning of the word, processed. Processed. Okay. Processed. Now, yeah, that ed at the end will make a t sound. Processed. Processed. Good. Okay. Now, this word as well. Okay, the root word is stop. Okay. If we add a, an ed to it, the word is stopped with the t oh. at the end. Stop. Okay. All right. One oh. more e ed ending. Okay. This is checked. 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 Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, I, I'd like to say your X sounds like fixing sounded very good. Okay. Really, really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see. Other, uh, other sounds driving. Your R sounds were really good as well. Okay. Yeah, just mm -hmm. focus in a little bit on those uh, ed endings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it sounded it sounded it sounded excellent. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Marcia. Looks like yeah. I got everybody. Uh, Marcia, mm -hmm. let me have you uh, read uh, one more paragraph here. Okay. Okay. Uh, this next one that starts off with uh, with Tina. Go ahead and read that, please. Tina, you go already. And uh, get clean up, clean it up. I am going to call Harvey and let him know we are okay," said GP. Tina took a bath and put on a pink tank top and gray lunch buttons. GP was looking at the menu. Uh, Tina stretched and when she did. A shirt coming up a little. GP picked over the dinner menu. Uh, Tina pulled her shirt back down and got on the edge of the bed with a smile on her face. She really wanted to tease, but 
she did not figure out that GP was tired and in no mood for teasing. She turned the TV on and started watching the eat while he went and got cleaned up. All right, very good. Let's let's practice some ed endings, okay? So mm -hmm. this word here is cleaned. Cleaned. Good. One more time. Cleaned. Cleaned. All right. Let's uh, practice the ed ending on turned. Turned. Okay. One more time. Turned. Turned. Very good. All right. How about here on the word tired? Tired. Okay, one more time. Tired. Tired. All right, one last word. Okay, we're going to add a T to this ending, and we're going to say stretched. Stretched. Good, good. Much better with that T sound. First time through, I didn't hear that T at the very end uh, uh, very clearly. All right, excellent job. All right, let's go to... Uh, we've got a couple more minutes left. Uh, Nukmal, let me have you uh, read these next uh, two small paragraphs, please. All right. Tina had a mischievous grin on her face the entire evening. JP finally inquired as to what was going through her mind. She confessed she saw him picking over the dinner menu and wanted to tease him a little bit but she knew that he was exhausted and might get mad at her if she said anything the next morning they headed back to new york they met antonio and rebella at the car rental and rode back with them okay all right make sure to pronounce an a sound at the end of this word okay they they yeah so they headed back to new york try that please they headed back to new york Okay, and uh, and the uh, th sound on anything, anything, anything. Good, much better, much better. Good job with through. I heard the uh, th sound there. That was really good. Okay. okay. Um, all right, excellent. Okay, you guys. Well, Thanks. thank you, uh, thank you for uh, coming to class. We are unfortunately out of time. Um, my uh, next class. I believe is, let's see, what do I have? Um, we're going to be uh, uh, practicing our speaking and talking about cars and driving. All right? Thank you for, right. Uh, thank you for coming in, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.